Shalom, shalom, chavarim, shalom. I'm going to elaborate on this a little bit more, but just let's make this very clear. That the overthrow, as they say, of Haile Selassie, Haile Selassie I, Ketamah Haile Selassie, was for one main reason. Because he was, he is, is an Israelite of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Not just Jewish in that sense, yes, on the, if you look at it that way, but of the tribe, of the tribe of Yehuda, of the tribe of Judah. And then we followed along with, in the scripture, how Ethiopia is presented in two, in two main ways. And in one way, there's like a positive and a negative aspect of Cush and Ethiopia in the Bible. There's an Israelite aspect of it, and there's a, you could say a Hamitic, or there's a Semitic, Shemitic aspect, and his majesty represents that Shem, like the Kebra Neges. That's why the Kebra Neges is not in good favor nowadays, and um, the godless and creeping coup. So we'd like to get into this a little more in detail right here, but just like, just to mention some of the basics right here, and then elaborate. Right, and going to a full of full reasoning that Haile Selassie overthrown, right, by that ancient, the other, you said the other Ethiopia. This is why in the scripture you have Ethiopia in two main ways. In a positive aspect, we could go through the verses by verse, and also in a in a negative aspect or connotation. Why? So are you not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? Now, many of our people wasn't ready then, but there were those who were ready then. Here you see Marcus Messiah Garvey, we call him like the black John the Baptist. I remember John the Baptist, even John the Baptist who proclaimed, he later seemed to deny and he lost his head. But these two particular men right here, we have Rabbi Wentworth Arthur Matthew, Commandment Keepers, Congregation of the Living God. Royal Order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, and then we have the main man over there, right there, on the right-hand side, Rabbi Arnold Josiah Ford. These men, as well as those before them, were significant in laying that groundwork for we, the black Jews, of the Lion of the tribe of Judah. So the overthrow, so-called, the godless and creeping coup, is similar to what we see even in the scripture concerning great King David. You notice that when David became king, it was only the tribe of Judah that was loyal to King David. And the ten tribes, you know the ten tribes that was loyal to Saul? It took seven years before they recognized. Something similar is happening even in this dispensation. We look at the number seven and the sevens. Like we said, we'll get into more details right here, but just to show some of the highlights. For example, right here, you see this window over here, royal order of Ethiopian Hebrews Sabbath services and then we have over here and this window over here so that's the main that's the main reason of course some of the latter day 70 AD 1970 AD Israelites we have some broken branches and they have to be regrafted as the scripture says grafted into one's own you know one's own native and natural tree right as the wild the wild the wild olives got to be broken off. And that's what we see going on. Even in Ethiopia today, the whole political situation regarding even the Oromos, the Amharas and Tigray, that's what's all behind that as well. It's the majesty of Israelite. It's very easy to prove. When we say Kush, there's a Kush aspect. That's that Israelite aspect. We have Solomon, the Queen of Sheba, facts. Even before that, we have Moshe. Remember Moses and his Kushawi, his Kushit, his Ethiopian wife? These are all the signs, some main signs in the script. But we'll get into more of this as we move forward. Onward and upward, brothers and sisters, just to share a couple of brief words here. Have some more exhibits to share as well. You know, we can trace even with the Israelites, you know, the other Israelites, the other camp, the connection with Abba Bivens. Ahariya, Ahariya, you know. Um, we have Eber, 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 Yomim, you know, Benjamin, or better known as Abba Bivens, right? And give thanks right here to um, Brother Abdil Levi, Lewi, a.k.a. Zion Lex, right? This word of his majesty here to our people, tell the people to come home. Here their race originated and here it can be lifted to the highest, its highest plane of usefulness and honor. Check this 
what his majesty is saying to us, the Negroes, right? the king, even the king of kings of the Negroes. And that identification of Ethiopia through the Shem, through the Shem rulers to we black people in the Americas is significant. It was never an argument, you know, that the Negroes and the Ethiopians and the Semites and the Shemites over a hundred years ago, going back to the Roaring Twenties, why, why the difference now? It's that godless and creeping coup. It's that apostasy. The Bible speaks about the great falling away. His Master says here to assure them <clears throat> of cordiality with which I invite them back to the homeland, particularly those qualified. Notice what His Majesty says right here. The King of Kings, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah particularly those qualified to help solve our big problem. Note, he doesn't say our big problems. What's that big problem? You know, it's that disconnect, the Hamitic, the Shemitic, the two Ethiopias, right? The two Cushes. <laughs> yes, look more on that right here. Hear the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I send to you both rising up early and sending them, but y'all, but y'all, you all have not hearkened. Our people still are Shema'a Yisrael, right? Still a heart of hearing. So right here, I'm going to seal this up right here, get into some more details, looking forward to the Just Vibes in, right? Rabbi Wentworth, Arthur Matthews, teacher here, key man, this is a key point man, Rabbi Arnold Josiah Ford, commandment keepers, now we have, we see what the other Israelites, what does it say behold the Jeremiah 23 crew I have not sent these prophets but yet they ran and notice what is common about all of these and the byproducts, the broken branches from the commandment keepers, is they all cut off that Ethiopia connection, the throne of David connection, the king of Israel connection. And even many of them would pretend to be king of Israel, like this one over here. We have Masha. He was King David. We already know about the failed prophecies. What more do we need to say? More to come, Yah willing. Shalom, Chabarim. Shalom.